Hi gang, we're out here at Minglewood Hall. February 2011 for the Premier Bride Show. We've got brides and grooms galore running all over the place. We're going to be doing some interviews. Stick around for a great time. Hi gang, we're out here at Minglewood Hall and I'm here with a lovely bride. What is your name? Sarah Jones. Sarah, when you get married? September 9th. Of this year? Yes, sir. Now, how long have you been working on your wedding? Um, only a month or so. Only a month or so. Yes. So what's the most important thing you're still looking for? Um, right now, a caterer and cake. And caterer and cake. Well, I'm yes. sure you'll find everything you need here yes. at Premier Bride. When he asked you to marry him, did he do the romantic thing, get down on one knee and all that? Yes, he of did. course. Now, were you by yourselves? Were there other people around? I was by myself, but I didn't know that he had my friends there hiding, waiting, and spying. So after I said yes, they all jumped out. So and they were all pictures. in on it. Yes. I got did you cry. Were. Yes. Did you? Did. Okay. <laughs> now, has he been very helpful with your wedding planning? Yes. Yes, he has been good. Well, what's his most important job? Um, Show making, up. Sure I don't that and making sure I don't stress out. Make sure you don't stress out. Yes. Well, I'm sure he'll do a good job yes. of that. Congratulations Thank on your you. wedding. And, of course, she knows to find everything she needs, folks. All she has to do is check out MarriedMemphis.com television. We're out here at Minglewood Hall for the Premier Bride 2011 Winter Bridal Show. here at Minglewood Hall and I'm standing here with another lovely bride. What is your name? Jessica. Jessica, when you get married? Um, June 16, 2012. Oh, you got plenty of time. I you, do. Now, how long have you been working on your wedding? Um, since maybe January. Since January. January, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the main thing you're still looking for? Um, then you're probably still looking for a lot of things. Caterer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just about all, just everything, about everything. Mostly, yeah. mostly everything. I got you. Mm -hmm. Now, is he being a lot of help in your wedding planning? He is, he is. What's his main job? Um, looking for a venue mostly. Looking for a venue. For a venue. I got gotcha. you. Well, I'm sure we can help you with that here at the show or on MarriedInMemphis.com television. Uh, now, I want to ask you, when he asked you to marry him, mm -hmm. did he do the romantic thing, get down on one knee and all that? You know what? No, he didn't. I think he was more surprised that he was asking himself. No, he didn't do the one knee thing. Uh -huh. He actually just came up to me and he discussed our relationship, you know, what we had been through, and then he asked me to marry him. I got Not you. the one knee thing. Now, were you by yourselves or were there other I people was, around? I was by myself. Now, who was the first one you called? Um, my mom. <laughs> my mom. And did your mom know it was coming or was it a surprise yeah, she kind of knew it was coming. So basically everybody knew about it except you. Except me. Everyone knew. <laughs> except well, congratulations on your okay. wedding. And of course she knows to find everything she needs, folks. All she has to do is check out MarriedToMemphis.com television. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Hi, gang. We're back out here at Minglewood Hall. I'm standing here with another lovely bride. What is your name? Tyrone Jameson. When you get married? October 13, 2012. Plenty of time to plan Plenty. that perfect wedding. Yes. Now, is he being a lot of help? Yes, he is. He's very involved with everything that I'm doing so far. Now, what's his main job? He works at, uh, what do you call main job, like in planning? No, yeah, yeah, for the wedding. What's uh, his main job with the wedding? Well, actually, just tuxedos. He tuxedos. Just, yes, he's making sure that his groomsman's on perfect and making sure that he's on team for the wedding. I got you. <laughs> well, now, what's the most important thing you're still looking for? What's well, right now, it's not the top of your head. What do you venue, really need? The venue. Venue, venue. Well, I'm sure you can find something here at the Premier Broad Show. And, of course, if she does, she can always check out MarriedInMemphis.com television. Congratulations thank on your you, wedding. Congratulations. You. Have a lot of fun, right? It's a lot of fun. Wedding. It is. It's always a lot of fun. Stick around, folks. We'll be back. Hi, gang. We're still out here at Minglewood Hall with another lovely bride. What is your name? My name is Lauren. Lauren, when you get married? In September 17, 2011. 2011. So you got what? Oh, about eight months? Yeah. About seven, eight months? Now, uh, how long have you been working on your wedding? About three months now. About three months. Is he being a lot of help? Yes, he is. A ton. <laughs> but now, is he being a lot of help as in being involved in the planning yes. part of it? Yes. Or is he being a lot of help in here, hold this, here, hold this, here, hold this? Both ways. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> now, when he asked you to marry him, mm -hmm. did he get down on one knee, do the romantic thing and all that? Yes. Now, were you by yourselves? Were there other people around? Well, we were at a drive-in. So. A drive-in. <laughs> Well, were there other, did you have friends with you when no. this happened? Okay, so who was the first person you called in? Um, 
My best friend Lindsay. <laughs> okay. And did you did she know it was coming or no, no, no. no. Everybody was a big surprise yes. to everybody. <laughs> I got you. Now what's the main thing you're still looking for? I guess it's just the, the venue. The venue. Yeah, yeah, that's that's your main concern yeah, right, right now. now. Well I'm sure you'll get that taken care of. And I know she will and she keeps watching MeridanMemphis.com television folks. We're out here at Minglewood Hall with the Premier Bride Show. We will be back. You talk about a lot of people, we got people galore walking around over here. And we're right across from the Memphis Zoo, as you can see, and there's all kinds of vendors. We got brides, we got bridesmaids, we got grooms, we got groomsmen, we got mother of the bride, we got mother-in-law of the bride. <laughs> Stick around for more fun here at the Premier Bride Show, February 2011. Oh, I've got, I picked up one earlier. Thank you, sweetheart. here at the Premier Bride Show and I'm standing here with another lovely bride. What is your name? Morgan Yen. And when you get married? October 29th. Of this year? Of this year. Now, uh, is he being a lot of help in your planning? <laughs> no. no. His main <laughs> job is to show up for the wedding, right? Right. I got you. Now, when he asks you to marry, well, before, before I ask you that, what is the most important thing you're still looking for? I think all of it. <laughs> you're still looking for a lot of stuff, is that right? It? Have you got your venue yet? No. Okay, so see, you're still looking for some of the major things, right? Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you'll find some of that here or on MarriedInMemphis.com television. <laughs> all right, let me ask you now. When he asked you to marry him, did he do the romantic thing, get down on one knee and all that? He did. Were you by yourselves? Were there other yeah, people around? Yeah, he invited my family to come out and watch, and my dad was taking pictures of the whole thing. In other words, so. everybody knew about it except you. Except me. Now, when you, did, you, did you, so you didn't know it was coming at all? Uh, I had a feeling. Or you feeling, had a kind of feeling? But I made my whole family miserable because I thought it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So, like, when I figured out it wasn't going to happen, I was, like, really sad all day. And then it happened, and they were all like, you are so miserable. And did you cry? Uh, no, I didn't. No. Have you cried yet? Not because of that. <laughs> Wait, uh, I won't, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, she'll cry when she gets the bill for the wedding. That's what she'll right. do. Well, listen, congratulations on your Thank wedding. You. And, of course, she knows to find everything she needs. All she has to do is check out MarriedInMemphis.com television. Folks, we're out at the Premier Bride Show. We'll be back. All right, gang, I have another lovely bride out here at Minglewood Hall. And what is your name? Chantry Snow. And when you get married? September 10th. September 9th. See, being a lot of help in your wedding planning? Yes, I do. What's his main job? Everything. Everything. His main job is everything to keep me happy. That's what it is. Now, when he asked you to marry him, did he get down on one knee to the romantic thing? Yes, he did. Did you know it was coming or did it come as a surprise? I knew it was coming. You knew it was I coming? Did. I actually picked out my ring. You picked out the ring. Well, it wasn't much of a surprise then. But did you cry? No. No. Everybody else did, but I did. Everybody else did. I got you. Now, what is the main thing you're still looking for for your wedding? What's the number one thing you still got to find? You just, you know, in your mind, you're going, I got to do this, I got to do this. My dress. I haven't found my dress yet. Haven't found your dress? Y'all don't go anywhere. We're out here at Premier Bride. We'll be back. Okay, I have another lovely bride with us. I keep looking at the monitor instead of looking at the camera. Uh, I have another lovely bride. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, when you get married? February 29th, 2012. 2012. So you've got, oh, 29th. So you're going for that, uh, only celebrate your anniversary every four years, is or, that it? Or, as I like to say, twice every year, and then every four years, a really big one. We're going to celebrate on the 28th and the 1st. There you I'm go. Greedy. There you go. <laughs> the greedy kind of person. I understand. Now, what's the main thing you're still looking for for your wedding? Everything. Everything. I Everything. Everything. I don't, I don't have anything. Don't have anything. No. Well, now, when he asked you to marry him, did he do the romantic thing, get down on one knee and all that? Uh, it, not the one knee, but it was it was still very romantic. It was it was a complete surprise. I wasn't expecting it uh -huh. at all. Were completely, you by yourselves or completely other? by myself? I had just walked in from work. It was one of those, oh, ready to just relax, and it was turned around, and there he was with a ring, and I, I just cried. Uh, I just see that I, was going to be my next question. Yeah, Did she cry? I just now cried. who was the first person you called? Well, it depends on who you ask. I called my mom first, of but, but my sister thinks I called her first. Shh, it's our secret. We won't tell anybody. But congratulations <laughs> on your you wedding. So much. And of course, she knows to find everything she needs. All she has to do is check out MarriedInMemphis.com television. Folks, we're out here at Minglewood Hall. We'll be back. Well, gang, that's it for the Premier Bride Show here at Minglewood Hall. I am Kirk, the wedding guy. We'll see you next time.